open YouTube application in your smart device. In search option type as DMEC. This is the DMEC channel logo. Just click on the channel logo and then click on videos. You will find the list of DMEC videos here. Click on playlists. Here the videos are sorted according to the topic. Open a video. If you are new to this channel then hit on subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon for instant notifications of upcoming videos. Welcome to this session on project management skills. We are in unit 3 project life cycle. In the last session we have defined a general project life cycle and the different phases. In this session we are going to learn project management life cycle and the different stages in project management life cycle. The project management life cycle describes high level process for delivering a successful project what exactly the phases which a project management will follow to complete a project successfully. As defined in project management body of knowledge by project management institute, a project management life cycle consists of five phases. Number one is initiation. In this phase, a project management organization will develop a business, identify the scope, and will identify project stakeholders such as investors, team members, suppliers, customers, etc. Second is planning. In this phase, workflow document is created, resources are gathered, the budgets are estimated. Third is executing. Here the team members are briefed on the work and the process. Fourth is monitoring and controlling. In this phase, quality of work is monitored, budgets are managed to avoid any cost overrun and time overrun. Fifth and the last is closing. Project is delivered to the customer on approval. End result is analyzed here by the project team. Also, account is made on used and unused budget. All these phases makes a complete project and completion of these phases are defined as project management life cycle. Let's discuss all these stages one by one. First, we have project initiation, which defines what needs to be done initially in a project. Initial work necessary to create and authorize the project are defined in this phase. Key project management steps for initiating a project are as follows. Make a project chatter. As we discussed in our previous class, it is a documentation of project vision, objectives and goals. By chance, if you have missed the previous video, you can just click on the above i card or you can find the same video in the below description. You can watch it later after the end of this video. Anyhow, in project chatter, it describes the measurable objective and the success criteria of the project. Identify the high level scope and deliverables. What is the product or service that needs to be provided? In general, you have to decide what kind of project you need to carry because based on this project, the organization will be running their business. It has to be accepted by the customers or the market. Conduct a feasibility study. What is the primary problem? and its possible solutions. Identify the risk and road blockers in the project and find the right action plan to overcome all difficulties. The project will only be carried out if it is feasible. Andre, success rate mele matra e project na decide maartare. Suppose success rate kammi into anta helidre e project na drop maartare. Estimate the overall cost and create a business care. What are the costs and benefit of the solution? Decide the exact budget required to complete the project. And based on this, identify the future benefits, that is the profit. Identify stakeholders. Who are the people this project affects? How and what are their needs? In general, identify your customer, how they will be benefited, why they will pay you and how you can run your business. All these points are concluded in project initiation phase. Second phase is project planning. 
विच डिफाइंस हाउ टू डू एंड वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन इट गोज लाइक दिस क्रिएट ए वर्क फ्लो डॉक्यूमेंट गैदर रिसोर्सेस एस्टिमेट बजट एक्सेट्रा की प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट स्टेप्स फॉर प्लानिंग ए प्रोजेक्ट आर एज फॉलोस क्रिएट ए प्रोजेक्ट प्लान आइडेंटिफाई दी फेसेस एक्टिविटीज constraints and schedule and create a project timeline with a work breakdown structure and gantt chart here the larger perspective of project is broken down into small unit which we call work breakdown structure the required activities in each subsection are identified time for each activities are measured all these details are represented in the form of bar graph or gantt chart we can say or in a pictorial form for easy understanding create a financial plan create a project budget and cost estimate and a plan to meet the maximum cost complete allocations across resources and department the exact cost estimation is carried in planning by using proper work breakdown cost for each process is identified so that the cost overrun can be avoided create a resource plan build a great team recruit and schedule the resources and materials needed to deliver the project in simple it is hiring the right person and also identify the right resources and materials to do the right job create a quality plan set project quality target and measure the quality of project need to be identified this will impact the output of project quality defines the rate of success create a risk plan identify the possible risk assumption issues and dependency assign an owner and develop a control measure to overcome problem in simple it is risk assessment and assigning a leader create an acceptance plan assign criteria for what constitutes done and delivered planning the task so that it has to be accepted since the project is deliverable the acceptance criteria has to be planned in spite of various inputs and output create a communication plan list your stakeholders and plan the frequency of communication between stakeholders it is establishing a communication medium and network to connect all people in the project that we have already studied in communication process create a procurement plan find any third party suppliers required and agree terms that is finding best supplier who offers the best quality material or process at a reasonable price third phase project execution making a project happen brief team members on work or process term plan into actions let's look into key project management steps for execution phase team leadership a team leader has to set a vision for his team and he has to motivate them to deliver the result converting actions into plan creating task clearly define the work and criteria each and every team member must know their role and job responsibilities task briefing ensuring the team what is to be done and by when time management what is to be done when it is to be done and who will do it all this should be briefly discussed here client management working with the client to ensure deliverables are acceptable understanding the need of customers based on that discuss with the consultant and contractors so that only the acceptable project is delivered communication ensuring the information and updating the right people at right time through the right channel based on the communication plan choosing the right channel for communication which ensures that the message is passed to right people at right time to avoid confusion fourth phase project monitoring and control keeping a project on track monitor quality of work ensure project according to the plan and manage budget key project management step for monitoring and controlling a projects are cost and time management review time sheets and expenses to record control and track against the project's budget timeline and tasks 
compare the cost and time plan against the ongoing work to avoid any deviation. इली cost मत्ते time नाइल ना, येनु planning stage यली describe माड़ इरुत्तरे, अधन execution time अल्ली compare माड़ोदु. येन अधरु deviation कंडु बंदरे, अधन अल्ले सरी पड़सोदु. इदु cost and time management. Quality management, reviewing deliverables and ensuring that they meet the defined acceptance criteria. Compare planned quality with actual quality. This is project to deliver and acceptance criteria. And the quality is plan and the actual project is to match. This is the deviation control measures to carry out. Risk management. Monitor, control, manage and reduce potential risks and issues. In simple, avoid risk by proper control and measures. Acceptance management. Conduct user acceptance testing and create a reviewing system ensuring that all deliverable meet the need of client checking the end quality and separate which are not acceptable. Change management. When the project does not go as per the plan, managing the process of acceptable changes with the client to ensure they are happy with the necessary changes. When the existing plan fails and when changes are required, make sure the client approves those changes and at the end, results are achieved. If the project management is plan to do that, suppose fail, the process changes are the client approval. Client approve maadid mele ne ee changes na avro process agi convert maad veku. Mathe results na achieve maad veku. Fifth and the last project closure. Ending a project. Formally closing the project. Analyze budget, project and team results. Key points for closing phase are as follows. Project performance analysis. In simple, how well the project was managed. Analyze the overall project. Team analysis. Did everyone do what they were assigned to do, knowing whether all the team members have done their job completely, which was assigned to them. This will help in future projects. Project closure. Document the task needed to bring the project life to an official need. Ending the project is most important as the budget is involved. By declaring officially, all the tasks in the project are documented and the project is officially declared as completed and it is handed over to the customer. Post implementation. Write down a formal analysis of success and failure and resulting lessons learned and suggestion for future. Document everything, the cost mismatch, any failure. By analyzing this result, future project can be benefited. Here is the closing of a project. With all this, Let's summarize this session on project life cycle. Here, we have understood the five phases in project management life cycle. First is project initiation. It is to develop a business and scope. Second, project planning to create workflow document. Third one, project execution. Brief team member on work or process. Fourth, project monitoring and control to control quality of work and to manage the budget. Fifth and the last, project closure. Officially end the project, deliver the project to the client. Analyze all the operations, performance and the budget. I hope this session was informative and useful. If you really like this video, please share. If you want to support my work, just hit on like. This will motivate me. That's all I need. Subscribe to DMAC for free. Also hit the bell icon for instant notification of upcoming videos. This is Dikshit Kumar signing off. Open your web browser. Go to google.com. Here in the search option, just type DMAC and hit on search. This will show the result as Dikshit Kumar who are the creator of the web page. The full web page address is dmacvgp.wordpress.com. Just click on this to open DMAC web page. Close and accept the cookie policy. If you are using a mobile phone to browse, just click on three horizontal line that is the menu button, which will explore all the home pages. You can open any page by simply clicking on the particular page. You can find here all the DMEC videos. Also can download the documents related to Diploma Mechanical Engineering.